Following the learning that we have done, the aim of this case study on shipping finance is to illustrate the level of finance, how much money is involved, and the level of investment in shipping using real data. The first sheet looks at new building contracts. For example, if we look at the year 1996, we can see that 226 bulk carriers were ordered. Please note that the values are in millions, so if you add six zeros to this, 226 bulk carriers were ordered with a combined value of $5,344,000,000. There were 278 container ship new building contracts and 156 tankers over 10,000 deadweight tonnes with the total values for each ship type. In this column, we can see the total number of new building contracts. For example, in 2020, there was a total of 620 ships contracted with a total value of $26,722,000,000. You can use this data to illustrate the change in the number of ships ordered over a period of time, for example. The second sheet looks at activities in the capital markets. Companies' activities in the new building markets and how much money is being traded on capital markets. The information here gives us a snapshot of the amount of money being raised by companies in the capital markets to buy new ships. The third sheet has more data with more details about what is happening in the capital markets. The previous sheet was only a snapshot but this sheet has a lot more detail. We will now focus on the next sheet, which is the dashboard. The dashboard is basically a good way to visualise the third sheet. Although we created some graphs in the second sheet, it is only a snapshot. The graph we have here was used in our learning. On the right, we have numbers. On the left, we have values. We are trying to show the different ship types over the years and see if there has been any growth in specific categories. We can see, for example, bulk carriers have expanded more during this period than other ship types. We have container ships and tankers and we can see over time that the percentage of each ship type is fairly constant. But interestingly, we can see that more container ships were contracted in 2021 in relation to other ship types. In the next graph, we are combining and looking at the numbers against the actual valuation. It is straightforward because there are only two columns, but in the next sheet, we have too much data. We can create many scenarios, but a dashboard is a very powerful way to visualise all this data. This is an interactive sheet for you to use and you really get an idea of what you can do with some skills in Excel. This graph is fixed based on the data in the previous sheet. Here we have an overview of the different stock exchanges. If I click on this, we have the London Stock Exchange, which is linked to the data and the illustration. We have the sum of US dollar equivalent which represents the amount of money that has been financed in shipping, in dollars. These are the three types of investments. Initial Public Offerings, or IPO, follow-on issuing of shares, and the issuing of bonds, which is debt. And we can see that this is the largest one overall. What is happening on the London Stock Exchange? We can see that it is mostly follow-on and IPOs. Bonds are not taking place in that market. Here the table tells us how many activities have been happening over a period of time. If we filter the data for the last three years, we have 14 IPOs, 142 follow-ons, 183 issuing of bonds with a value in the range of $69 billion and the grand total over here. We also have some categories of what the different types of investments are related to. For example,
companies raising money for green sustainability, and this data has been classified as green. We also have a category of ca- companies raising emergency funding related to COVID. And if we use this filter, we can see that it is mostly debt or bond or issuing of more shares. We can see the number and sum and the years which, of course, do not date back too far. If we filter green, we can see that it is all about bonds and we can see at which stock exchanges we have this activity and also the types of companies that are involved. The table here lists the different types of companies involved. For example, if we click on shipyards, we get an overview of the financing involved and at which stock exchanges, etc. It is useful for you to work with the data yourselves and build your own different scenarios with it. 